Hey guys, Destin Legary here with another Destiny tip. This time it's how to get the very difficult to obtain Black Spindle Exotic and possibly a Shader and a Ship. To begin, you'll need to fire up the Lost to Light mission on the moon on hard difficulty. If you ever end up getting the game over screen and respawn, note that the doors later on are going to be closed. Bring friends as this mission will be tough. Next, run through the entire mission until you get to the part where you need to grab Tomb Husks to open the doors. Once there, open the first two doors. We like to pop a Titan Bubble on the second door to make it easier. And once you get to the third, simply skip it and run across the room to this open door. If your entire team hasn't died at any time, it should be open. If it's open, run through to the catch area that should look familiar if you played the House of Wolves strike. Once you teleport up to the ship, a timer will begin. Now you need to clear the entire ship of all enemies in 10 minutes. Simply clear each of the rooms as fast as you can so you can get to the final boss. Now, here's where things get tricky. Hopefully you were able to get here with six or seven minutes left. If you work together as a team, this is still gonna be tricky, but it's doable. First, shoot all three of the blights. They're the big orbs. Three will spawn immediately, then three again each time the boss loses one third of his health. The hardest to find are in the back middle and in the back right. After that, here's what our team did. We tethered with the hunter and popped a titan bubble with armor of light on the left side of his platform and hit him with swords in the bubble. Once the bubble went away, we either ran out or just let everybody die and then self respawn so we were in a safe area. With this method, we did about 50% damage each run. You can also use the front area as cover and do damage to him from there. Using our method, once you respawn, take cover in the front area and have your third player generate orbs for the other two teammates. The other two teammates should be dropping any blights that pop up to reduce the amount of enemies that are being spawned. Once it was down to a sliver of health, we had one player work on finishing him off, while the other two worked on destroying any and all blights and remaining enemies. Once the third player finished off the boss, he called it out and all players worked on clearing the room. It took a few tries, but with a good team this is possible. It is going to be challenging, so be sure to try this out with a high light level team. Shout out to Reaper, Gamble, and Darth and everybody that helped me get through this mission. One more note, if your weapon drops at 310 light, Bungie has publicly said that this will be patched and the weapon will be set to 290 light as this is what all exotics are supposed to drop at. However, you can still infuse it into an existing weapon you like to raise that weapon's light level. The infused weapon will remain unaffected. So with this information from Bungie, we actually recommend infusing it into another weapon. Keep in mind, now that you've discovered it, you can buy it for one exotic shard and a little bit of glimmer. Anyway, I hope that helped you out, and for more on Destiny, keep it locked to IGN.